Welcome everyone to the Unmotivated Homemaker. These are my onion goggles and today I'm going to need them because I am doing freezer meal prep. So join me today as I master the most important part of homemaking, cooking. Let's go. Whenever I do cook, I always like to have a drink, not alcohol, but chai tea. I'm pretty lame. That's the hard stuff. All right, let's go. I'm gonna make enchiladas, lasagna, burrito bowls, and then I'm going to make some chili and some chicken noodle soup. I can't wait. Some of my favorites, I've never made lasagna before of any kind, so hopefully this freezer meal recipe is awesome. All these recipes, besides the chili recipe, which is mine, I got from the happymoneysaver.com blog. I'll link that in the description below. To store a lot of these freezer meals, like the soup and chili and fajitas, I am going to use these reusable freezer safe LO bags. And then for some of the ones that I'm going to recook in the oven, like the lasagna, I will be using some aluminum pans. I want to prep my vegetables first. To simplify and separate each meal, I am putting a bowl on top of each recipe, and I will put all the veggies for that recipe inside that bowl. This helped me keep organized throughout this process. Only one of these recipes required me to cook my veggies first before freezing it and that was the chicken noodle soup. So I wanted to clean and chop almost all my vegetables before I had to cut all my meat on the cutting board. Not ever making this chicken noodle soup recipe before, I did not realize as soon as I poured the veggies in there that I was going to need a lot more room because I had to put chicken broth in this. So I had to pour it right into a bigger pot right away. After that gets going, I cut up the meat for the chicken noodle soup. It had me just place it right into the vegetable and broth mixture. And I will say that I wish I did pre-season this or maybe do a rotisserie chicken because the chicken in this was kind of bland not being pre-seasoned. I work as a nurse, so this meal prep was amazing for me for my work week and for my husband. I just threw this soup after it was frozen when I wanted to use it back into the crock pot to reheat and it worked out perfectly. I go ahead and finish prepping the chicken for the meals that will be using chicken. So I am boiling some chicken breast for my chicken enchiladas and that just had to boil for 20 minutes. Next finally is the chicken for the chicken burrito bowls and these I cut into little thin strips. It just requires some taco seasoning and to cook it on the stove top. While the meats are cooking, I'm going to prep for my beef fajitas and they had me puree an onion. I will say I wish I pureed a lot of the onions, especially for the chicken enchiladas because they were chopped pretty coarsely and I think the finer minced onion would have been a lot better. I quickly hop back over to the stove top and put some spaghetti noodles into my chicken noodle soup. They just had me cook it for a couple minutes to make them not super soft. That way when you reheat this, it will still be a little al dente or at least firm. Continuing on the beef fajitas, I chopped some bell pepper and then I use these bag stands. I bought them on Amazon. They're amazing to hold up these bags and open so you don't need another person to help you out. And then I realized my soup was done so I quickly ran over and put that on the counter so that it can cool. It says completely cool before you put it in the freezer. The beef fajitas called for chorizo and they said just take little bits of it with your fingers and to dab them into this freezer bag. That way when you recook it, it's just not one big clump of meat. And then I had an extra bag of stew meat that was frozen. So I took that frozen stew meat out of a different freezer bag and put it into this bag. I will probably reheat this in my instant pot when it's time to recook it.
To label this, since it's a reusable bag, I didn't want to use permanent marker. I just used a dry erase marker on it and put the date. It's been 20 minutes and my chicken is done boiling and now I'm going to shred it for those chicken enchiladas. Now that the enchiladas are prepped, I am using some saran wrap to do the first covering layer to go into the freezer. I tried to press it down and get all the extra air out of it and then I double wrapped it in aluminum foil. And then I just wrote the name and date on this as well and put it right into the freezer. I had a few enchiladas that didn't quite fit into that pan so I decided to make these five for dinner tonight. It was a nice bonus not having to cook for dinner tonight since I'm doing all this meal prep. I needed an extra hand getting the soup into this reusable freezer bag. I was nervous it was going to go everywhere. It still went a little bit into the sink but having an extra hand definitely helped. What do you guys do if you have a heavy kind of dinner going into your freezer meals? What do you do to keep the bag open or if you don't have an extra hand to assist you? Let me know in the comments below. It's finally time for beef. I am using this in my chili and then in the lasagna. I'm using these mini bread loaf tins to assemble my burrito bowls. These froze great with the saran wrap to get the air out and then the aluminum foil. Obviously you can't just pop them in the microwave, but I didn't even need to thaw them. They came right out onto a plate or bowl that I put into the microwave. So, Or you can put them right into the oven. This chicken for the burrito bowls are seasoned with taco seasoning and then I'm adding in some black beans, cheese, and rice. I'm using some short grain rice that is actually meant for sushi, but it is what I had in the cupboard, so I'm using that in these burrito bowls. I first rinsed it a couple times, and then of course I actually burnt my first pot of rice, so I did have to redo this. But the second one turned out perfect. I felt like I was just juggling a million things in the kitchen while the rice was cooking on the stove top. I assembled my lasagna, and they had me use cottage cheese, parmesan cheese, and some mozzarella cheese. For the lasagna noodles, I didn't pre-cook them. I bought the ones that didn't need to be pre-boiled. So uh, hopefully this works. Like I said in the beginning, I've never made lasagna before and I have no idea if this recipe is good or not. But by golly, I'm gonna eat it. So hopefully it turns out really well. Again, when it was all put together, I just did the saran wrap and then two layers of the aluminum foil. And I'm gonna pop it right into the freezer. My second batch of rice was finally done, and now I'm able to assemble my burrito bowls. I already ate a couple of these since I have frozen them, and I recommend adding in some salsa, some sour cream, or some avocado to accompany this dish. The very last thing I did was finish up my chili, and then I just poured that also into a reusable bag. So here are the meals, the chili, the chicken enchiladas, chicken noodle soup, beef fajitas, lasagna, and burrito bowls. All this food is going to feed my husband and I for at least one month because each of them also has probably two to three days worth of leftovers. So I'm so excited to get all my dinner cooking out of the way in just one afternoon in evening. Let me know in the comment section below some meals that you guys like to freeze and what you thought of this video. 
The worst part of meal prepping, I think, is then cleaning the kitchen afterwards and doing all the dishes. I use pretty much every pot and pan that I own, and then I always get creative to be able to stack them on <laughs> the dish rack. So here's what it looked like after about four hours of cooking in my kitchen. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you like my content.